stars and still get tired, as lush as lips, red as wine. Well, my philosophy in, in basketball is chemistry, and chemistry comes from teamwork. You work for for, or for each other. Well, that's why I switched to C first, because I find that same type of approach. And the fact that C first is open back to five, that makes a big difference. That's beauty. That is beautiful. Isn't it time for you to switch? In the past, this car has been praised for holding its value. This one for outperforming the stock market. Over the past year, however, no other luxury car in its class has retained more of its value than the Lexus L400. Maybe this is what they mean by a new world order. Visit your Puget Sound Lexus dealer and see how smart owning an LS400 can be. Congratulations to the Rose Bowl champion Husky. The table has been set for a national championship to wind up in Seattle. But when the purple haze clears, Will the Huskies be rated the best team in the country? Now, join Como TV's Bruce King as he recaps the granddaddy of them all on The Road to the Rose Bowl Post Game Show. Welcome you live to the Rose Bowl in Pasadena, where the Huskies did it tonight. They defeat Michigan 34 to 14, and as you can see, the celebration continues. With me right now, Lake Johnson, a guy who plays on the special teams, and part of the job of the special team was to shut down a guy named Desmond Howard, and you guys did it tonight. Oh yeah, he's a great player, and you know we know knew going into the game that he was going to be a tough task, but fortunately, I think we took care of the job pretty well. Oh, you did. A lot of excitement coming into this football game. You wanted to prove that you were number one in the country and the best. And I'm sure that when you got out there playing against the Michigan team like this, the, the team, it's just, it was incredible how well you played. It was unbelievable. I mean, it's so, it's so exciting. Your heart just, just keeps pumping. I mean, a game like this, going for number one, or at least challenging, and uh, just uh, tremendously exciting. It was great. It was great. Great win. I'll oh, let you go celebrate right now. Thank you very okay. much. Okay. Mike Johnson of the special teams for the Huskies. And with me right now over here. Hey, this guy, I got to tell you, does he have a smile on his face? It is Jim Lambright, the defensive coordinator, and what a game plan, Coach. It worked. <laughs> what was the game plan? Tell me what you were doing. Uh, the game plan was first to take away the line of scrimmage and dominate the line of scrimmage. We felt we had to, we had to take them out of Michigan's uh, running offense, and uh, with nine yards rushing in the first half, we did that and forced them to do some things they didn't like to do. They certainly did. You shut them down. I was listening to the telecast and watching it in the truck as we were editing the highlights, and everyone was saying, no one does this to Michigan. It, uh, it's such a credit to our kids how well they prepare and what great athletes they are. Uh, foot speed and strength, uh, the commitment uh, during the offseason, it all, it all pays off against a great team like Michigan. It certainly does. And I'll tell you a guy who played pretty well for you tonight. He's had the flu all week. Nobody thought really he was going to be able to play as well as he did. Steve Hintman, the all-everything defensive end. Hey, congratulations on the win. Thanks, feels great, man. It really did. You guys just did it right. How do you feel? You feel okay? I'm tired, man, but it's all worth it. What were you feeling about Michigan now? How good a football team is this? Michigan's a real good team. Uh, our corners just did a great job of shutting Desmond down, and, and that was the end of things. You know, we stopped the running game. It was just a, a perfect end to a 12-0 season. Great way to go out, isn't it? Now, what about you? Have you thought about it? Have you thought about next year at all? i got to uh, ask you now. Hey, i got a couple weeks, you know, and, and I'm going to take my time and make a good decision. Michigan, I thought what you did to them early in the fact that uh, you got a couple of sacks early in the ballgame. Donald Jones got a sack. You forced a fumble early in the ballgame. Really, you know, put uh, Gerbeck back on his heels. Well, Because he isn't that fast, really. I think the, the whole thing, the whole key to that was our, our corners just did a great job. I mean... They, they shut Desmond down, they shut the receivers down, they gave us all the time in the world to get there, and, and that was really the difference of the game. Michigan the best team you played this year? I think they're close to the best team we played this year. We were just roll up today. Will you be the national champions after this? Was it that impressive, do you think? 
I don't think there's no doubt we deserve we deserve a ring after this victory and after 12 and 0 season. Hey, I'll let you go celebrate. Thank you very All much, right. Steve. Good luck in the future. Steve Edmond, a big defensive tackle for the Huskies who just played very, very well. And let's go to Graham Crow right now with another Husky player. Graham? We're here with Donald Jones, the outstanding defensive end linebacker combination from Gladys, Virginia. And I guess the cross-country trip for school was worth it all now, wasn't it, Donald? Oh, yeah. Everybody laughed, laughed at me when I came out here. But I knew it was the Lord's will for me to come here, and he blessed me, and he, I give him all the credit for everything that's happened. Now, a lot of the credit, especially for the quick start for the Husky team, goes right to you. I mean, you were right at Gerbeck. Yeah, we had to do that. We had to let him know that he's not going to stand back there all the time like he has all season. Nobody put pressure on him all season, and we knew he was going to do that from the start, and we did that. Any question who the number one team in the country is? No question, man. We're number one. We proved it. Okay, we'll let you get in the shower. Thank you much. Donald Jones, back to you, Bruce. Graham, thank you very much. Yeah, the Huskies obviously feel they're number one, and this celebration's going to go on through the night. 34-14 to 14 over Michigan, a very very impressive win. We'll be back, talk more with the players and with Jim Lambright right after this. The Road to the Rose Bowl post-game show is brought to you in part by new Clear Valley brand cooking oil. Taste the difference now in Cape Cod potato chips. By Domino's Pizza. Nobody knows like Domino's how you like pizza at home. And by Henry Weinhardt Beer, the first premium beer in the West. We've told this elephant that starting January 12th, she'll have to dial 1 plus 206 for all long-distance calls within the 206 area code. Because elephants are known to have extraordinary memories, we know she won't forget. Remember, that's 1 plus 206 starting January 12th. It's the Dodge Drive for the Gold Sales Drive. Own Shadow America for only $74.69, thanks to a thousand cash back. On Caravan, get 500 cash back, and you can get air at no extra charge. Up to $2,000 cash back on select Dodge trucks, and packet savings up to $2,683. Right now, get great deals at your local Northwest Dodge dealer. Over a hundred years ago, good entertainment was as rare as a good beer, till Henry Weinhard made his very own private reserve. Never had this before. Which made finding a good beer easier. Uh, gentlemen, Tex Velvet. Thank you. You are beautiful. But good entertainment right was still a long ways off. Shelby. Coming around the mountain when she comes. Come on, you know the words. She'll be coming around. Remember when simple things made you feel so good? Like the crunch of a good potato chip. Now Cape Cod potato chips are prepared with new Clear Valley cooking oil. Grown only in the high mountain valleys of the American Northwest. Which gives Clear Valley its name and Cape Cod chips, a crunch that feels just right. Clear Valley from the Intermountain Canola Company. Okay. There. We welcome you back live to the Rose Bowl in Pasadena. As you see, the celebration continues here. But for all of you waiting for the Sugar Bowl, that game has not started yet. We'll go to the Sugar Bowl game in just a moment. But we continue our post-game show with the Huskies as the Huskies defeat Michigan 34-14. to One guy with me right now, the big offensive tackle, Lincoln Kennedy. And I, you have to be pleased. There's been a smile on your face. You walked over here. Well, I am pleased because, you know, we came out here and we, we battled a great offensive, uh, great defensive team that Michigan had, and they never gave up. And I'm just glad that we had enough patience to stick with it and stick with the game plan and, uh, and go out there and put a lot of points on the board like we did. I think a lot of people realize that the defense is excellent, but sometimes I think they overlook your offense just a little bit. Well, sometimes, it, it, I mean, all the credit in the world should go to our defense because they, they stop potent offenses. And we do have a talented offense that, that has a, a great bunch of athletes and good depth, and I think that's what we prove every time we take the field. Exciting win today, wasn't it, huh? Did you, guys, did you think you could beat them 34 to 14? Was that? Uh, I didn't think we could beat them 34 to 13, but I'm glad we did. <laughs> <laughs> now, does this win give you the national championship in your mind right now? 
Well, that's not for me to decide. I think that, you know, we, we did all we could do as far as the team is. We played our butts off, and we went 12-0. and And if, it, if the people on the West Coast, I mean, or East Coast, I should say, uh, and anyone else who has votes or puts their uh, bid in for who determined who is a national, a national champion, then um, that's them. I mean, I know what we've done, and, and I'm glad that we went 12-0. and 12-0, the best football team ever. <laughs> Will you buy that? I'll buy that when I when it <laughs> when it finally hits me that <laughs> <laughs> ever in Washington. Lincoln, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, let's go right down to Graham Crow. Okay, Graham. Bruce, very few freshmen, pure freshmen, get to play for Don James' team. This is one of them. Tight end, uh, Mark Bruner from Aberdeen. Mark, where were you? We talked about this before. Where were you a year ago today? A year ago today, I was back home in my you know sitting on my couch watching the, watching the Rose Bowl game and watching the Huskies beat Iowa. You know, a senior in high school at that time, did you ever imagine that hey, I bet a year later I'll be catching a touchdown pass on that same field? I never dreamed this day would come. I never when I came in the season, I never dreamed that I would that would not redshirt. And I never dreamed that I would be playing in the Rose Bowl. I never dreamed that I'd catch a touchdown. It's just, it's just great. I feel like I'm on top of the world. Was that play designed to you to go to you, or were you secondary or third receiver? Actually, it was a broken play. Billy was supposed to roll out to the left. And he got pressure from the left, so he, so he rolled back the other way. And I was supposed to be on the flat. And uh, I saw Billy scramble, so I came back to Billy. And he looked at me, and then I looked at him. We had eye contact, and he threw me the ball. And I knew, and right then, I knew we, we were going to score. Hey, you got some parents that want to go thank you, so we'll yeah. let you go. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Mark. Back to you, Bruce. Graham, thank you very much. Well, right now, let's go to some highlights of the first quarter. We're talking about the defense and the fact that, that they set a standard in this game early in the ballgame. Watch this. Number 90. You heard him just a moment ago. Steve Hentman, double team. Can you believe this? Jim Lambright still knocks the ball away from Gerbeck. Donald Jones comes from the outside. going to get the sack. The great thing about that is Gerbeck was only sacked six times all year long. And you just went after him. Uh, with everything that we had. <laughs> Here, now, we'll look on the outside again. Here comes Jones one more time. This on a third and long. This in the first quarter of the football game, and I thought at that particular time, as I mentioned to Steve Infman, you know, you let them know that your defense was as good as everybody said it was coming into this ball game. And I think, uh, like uh, like Steve said, uh, you get that pressure when you've got great coverage. And Shane Palco in the corners and Tommy Smith did such a great job confusing Elvis Gerbeck, not knowing whether in zone or man, and uh, and allowed a lot of time to get there. And then you've got great foot speed coming up field. <laughs> Absolutely. Did you change that many things defensively to we, get ready for, for Michigan? We stayed with a lot of the same game plan we had before. Uh, we just we just changed the way that we were attacking certain peoples and people. And we know that uh, we had to take away some of their tools. And uh, we also knew that that Elvis was not one to get out of the pocket. So it. It kind of makes your job a lot easier if you know he's going to be standing back there. Okay, let's go right now to the highlights this late in the first quarter. Huskies begin to drive here, but Billy Joe throwing, and I'm not sure who he's throwing to right there, throwing over the middle to the tight end and just let it get away from him. Uh, Coach, Coach James asked me that up in the press box uh, when we went on defense, asked me who, if I could figure out who he was throwing to. I said, no, it looked like he was throwing to the two safeties. <laughs> <laughs> he was going after Aaron Pierce. Now. Walter Bailey's going to make a great play here. Gerbeck again, fakes, throws deep, and watch this play by Bailey. You talk this to Desmond Howard's going to be picked off and an interview, or an, an interception. And the, and the key there in so many times today, when, whenever defensively you go out after a turnover, it's important you shut that opponent down right away. You don't allow them momentum. Play fake, Billy Joe, throwing to Mario Bailey. Great catch to stay in bounds. Great, another play, 34 great yards. Catch. They talk about a highlight, and uh, and you know how pumped Mario was because oh. of the comparison with Desmond Howard. You know who's with us right now, okay? Aaron Pierce. What a football game this guy had. Aaron, thank you for coming back out here. Great game. Just a great, great game. And uh, you score a touchdown. You get a two-point conversion. The tight ends were an integral part of the offense. Yeah, the tight ends today were a big part of the offense. Uh, their defensive front was great. Their defensive front was great. They were shutting down a run for part of the time. But they were double covering Mario and Orlando, and it gave an opportunity for the tight ends to come out and show what they could do. Yeah, you were inbounds by what, about that much on the uh, two-point conversion and the back of the end zone play, too? Uh, I don't know if I was in or not. Tell me about Michigan now, defensively. How, how good were they defensively of other teams you've played this year? Um, they're a great defensive team. Uh, I'm just, we were just fortunate to do what we did against them. Uh, we had we had some opportunities uh, in the first. We had some opportunities in the first half to put more points on the board, and we didn't do it. And we got together in halftime, and we did some about the second half. We put points, and we had opportunities on the board. Okay, just a little more of an effort, just maybe a couple of little changes, and that was it. Um, we made a couple of changes. Uh, we started running uh, uh, the the run plays a little different. 
on our passing attack, we kept pretty much the same. Uh -huh. And we knew the defense was going to keep holding them. And we knew as we were driving, and we knew that we'd get the ball in the end zone. Aaron, a great football game. Thank I you. thought you played very well. Yeah, you're, you're never going to forget this one, are you? I'll never forget this one. <laughs> never, never, never okay. Aaron Pierce, our guest here at, oh, hey, what a football game he had. Right now, here's Graham Crow and Graham Crow and he, he has the quarterback, but we're going to take a break right now, and we'll be back right after this. <laughs> Remember when simple things made you feel so good? Like the crunch of a good potato chip. Now Cape Cod potato chips are prepared with new Clear Valley cooking oil, grown only in the high mountain valleys of the American Northwest, which gives Clear Valley its name. And Cape Cod chips, a crunch that feels just right. Clear Valley from the Intermountain Canola Company. What better way to start 1992? And to, to tell you about Domino's, great new two pizza deal. <coughs> each Domino's double up deal. Two medium pizzas each with one topping, just ten ninety nine. Ten ninety nine. Ten ninety nine. Domino's makes your pizzas fresh when you call and get them there in thirty minutes or less. So if you want a lot of great pizza for a little price for you and your whole family, nobody knows like Domino's how you like our double up deal for just ten ninety nine. How did he do that? <laughs> We've told this elephant that starting January 12th, she'll have to dial 1 plus 206 for all long-distance calls within the 206 area code. Because elephants are known to have extraordinary memories, we know she won't forget. Remember, that's 1 plus 206 starting January 12th. You must remember this, a kiss is still a kiss, a sigh is just a sigh, the fundamental things apply as time goes by. For timeless memories, ask for Codelux Processing. Unlike standard processing, a unique scanner gives you 20 times more detail for sharper images. As time goes by. Codelux Processing Services, because time goes by. Hey, we'll be going to the Sugar Bowl game in just a second. Florida, incidentally, leads that game right now by a score of 7 to nothing early in the first quarter. We'll get there. You'll be able to see the highlights. You'll be able to see most of that football game coming up in just a moment. Now with the quarterback for the Huskies, here's Graham Crow. Graham? Billy Joe Hobart joining us. And Billy Joe, what a difference a year makes for you, right? Well, in the first half, it didn't look like it was going to make much of a difference at all. I threw that interception. I was a little bit frustrated. But uh, came out in the second game. half, did the job, and we scored. What was the... Uh, anything special at halftime? I mean, you dominated the first half, but we're only up by six. Well, that's right. We can. We can go, it's like you know, we felt impotent a little bit. We got close, we couldn't couldn't get it up, couldn't get it in the end zone, you know, so to speak. It was uh, it's a tough break. It's part of football. We came out in the second half and uh, we scored seven instead of threes. What about Mario? Did did he become the best receiver on the field today? Well, he's always the best receiver in my eyes, but you know, I'm biased, and I'll, I'll say that forever. Uh, as far as competition between him and Desmond, you can't really compare the two because you know Elvis got crushed. But Desmond did make a great play. He got a 34-yard catch, but I really think that uh, Mario can compete with anybody. Billy Joey, I know you're cramping up. What injury-wise, what was it? Uh, my injury? Yeah, well, I, my hand, my two knees, my forearm, my bicep. Oh, well, it's the last game. I don't care. Good enough. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank Talk you. to you later. Back to Bruce. Graham, thank you very much. Let's quickly go back to the highlights now. Pick it up in the second quarter of the football game. Huskies get on the scoreboard. Billy Joe Hobart is the guy who is going to score on the play. He's going to keep it. Duck inside and just dive into the end zone. Good play. A great, great commitment. He, uh, they had the pitch taken there, and uh, and Billy Joe tucked it up, and, uh, and he's a big, strong dude. It's hard, it's hard to get him down. Talk about Desmond Howard. The one catch that he made in the ball game. Husky defenses will always remember this. They held a Heisman Trophy winner to one catch, and here it is. But it was a great catch. It this, really was. Yeah, this shows you why he won the Heisman. Because uh, Dana Hall is about four inches taller than him, and uh, and he just went up and took it away from him. And, uh, but uh, we didn't give him any other ones. No, that was the only one, and he slipped and came back, and it was one of those where, you know, almost anybody's play. That's right. Finally, Michigan's going to get on the scoreboard. They're going to tie it. Score 7-7. Gets plenty of time to throw this time. 
throws it to the back of the end zone. I think to the wrong guy. I think he was looking to somebody else. Yeah, I think he was too. And we were in his zone, and uh, and he and he looked he looked off to his right, and then he came back, and uh, and we didn't cut we didn't cover up for the guy back in the end zone, and, uh, and we we jumped the short receiver, and you see the, the deep one coming over. Yeah. All at once, the score is seven to seven. The football game right now. Michigan put together that really one drive of the ball game. They got one more in the game, but let's go back to the highlights right now because the game begins to turn really Washington's way right now. Mark Brunel in at quarterback. He got to play in the second series. Throws to Aaron Pierce, who we had on just a moment ago. And what a big football game he had. But, uh, critical drive right here. We're reestablishing some dominance, and uh, and it, it was time for Aaron to, to break out. Uh, he's such a fine athlete, and uh, and like he said, uh, when you double cover the wide receivers, you better have somebody that's good enough to cover a tight end. <laughs> Hanson comes on. He's going to kick the field goal. The Huskies will take the lead by a score of 10 to 7 in the second quarter of the football game. Now, watch play coming up here. I thought you should have scored here, and I know Bean O'Brien thought he should have caught the ball. It was in his hand. It was a great pass. really was, and... Uh, uh, Bino will remember that one, I'm sure. <laughs> Here, watch this throw again. Coming right at you, and it appears that Bino is going to score the touchdown and in and out of his hands. And, oh, did he want that? He really oh. did. Hanson kicks another field goal. The Huskies lead now by a score of 13-7, to and I think all the Husky fans that you coach just kind of feel that there was, you know, the momentum was going your way. Let's go back to the highlights right now and pick it up again. This late, just before the first half. Back to throw. Here's Hobart. Going deep. And in and out of the hands of Pierce. This is one of those just strange, strange plays, but your defense really stopped them on this drive coming up right now. Now watch this play here. Here's one by Steve Hentman again. Boom, uh, right here. I'll tell you, you, uh, you talk about a swing and field position and, uh, and a momentum. They had the momentum going right after the pick, and we come up with a couple sacks in a row. Okay, we'll be back. Talk to Dana Hall. Uh, they play Desmond Howard on the corners right after this. The Road to the Rose Bowl post-game show has been brought to you in part by new Clear Valley brand cooking oil. Taste the difference now in Cape Cod potato chips. By Domino's Pizza. Nobody knows like Domino's how you like pizza at home. And by Henry Weinhardt Beer, the first premium beer in the West. What, what better, better way, way to start, start 1992 than to tell you about Domino's great new Two pizza deals. <coughs> each Domino's double up deals. Two, two medium pizzas each with one topping, just ten ninety nine. Ten ninety nine. Ten ninety nine. Domino's makes your pizzas fresh when you call and gets them there in thirty minutes or less. So if you want a lot of great pizza for a little price for you and your whole family, nobody knows like Domino's how you like our double up deal for just ten ninety nine. How did he do that? With U.S. West Cellular, what you're really buying is time. I need more company time. I need more family time. Bob, more time. Come the double. Between the hospital and the, the, the clinic, I'm running out of time. Take two of these and call us in the morning. Oh, thanks. Got five projects, nine more crews. Hey, good the time. Five. In fact, of all the business tools that can help you buy more time, this one's the biggest. Everything is for you. Thank you. U.S. West Cellular, making the most of your time. Well, here's something. Two successful CPAs, obviously on a business-related trip, huh? If it doesn't look like a bean counter's car, that's because it's not. This is a driver's car, pal, an infinity. And that is one confident lady. Do you see that? She didn't even get a receipt. Infinity. Makes you want to take up driving again, doesn't it? Over a hundred years ago, visitors to Oregon would often return home with a very special beer. It's Henry's. No, thank you. A beer that even today, some parts of the country have yet to discover. Welcome to the Oregon Express. But Westerners always were slightly ahead of the times. Emergency exits are located, two to the front, two to the sides, and two to the back. Now, in the unlikely event of a water landing, your seat cushion will act as a flotation device. Welcome back live to the Rose Bowl. Huskies defeat Michigan 34 to 14. A guy who played a big role in the win, cornerback Dana Hall. Desmond Howard, the Heisman Trophy winner. We talked about that before. You had to stop that guy. And you and Walter Bailey did just a great job. Yeah, we've been concentrating all week a lot, you know. We knew we had to come in and stop a great receiver. And uh, we got to thank Mario a little bit for uh, being a little competitive and uh, 
-huh. in practice. He's competing with us and uh, gave us a little competitive edge when we got out here and had to cover Desmond. Yeah, well, I think a lot of people forget how quick you guys are in that secondary, you know? Yeah, well, we, we got pretty good speed. Uh, Walter's <laughs> probably a 4-3 guy. I think I'm a 4-3 <laughs> guy. Shane's a 4-4 four, four guy. I can't say anything about Tommy's speed. He's fast, though. How good was Desmond? Was it really a chore? What, what I think what happened to Desmond was uh, we discouraged him by bumping him off the line of scrimmage. You know, all year, guys have played up on him, but they've bailed out. So we, you know, we came in this game, and we just bumped him off the line of scrimmage. And coming around the third quarter, I think he was getting discouraged about being bumped. What a win for you. Is this oh, the best football crazy. team you played in Michigan this year, you think? I think so. Um, you know, they came out, they had a lot of explosive people. I mean, came down to the end. Of, I think on our offense put some points on the board because uh, it would have been nail biting down to the end because they had some great, you know, explosive uh -huh. people and, you know, they made some big plays. Okay. I hope you win the national championship. Wouldn't that yeah, be so? I, yeah. <laughs> Data Hall, the Husky corner. What a game he had. Let's go back to the highlights right now and pick it up in the third quarter. Okay. We'll run through the third and fourth quarter quickly for you right now. Huskies back to throw. I thought Jim Lambright that this was a very, very important play near the line of scrimmage. Billy Joe Hober throwing to Mario Bailey. Good catch and, and a first down. Exactly. And you saw how Billy bought some time for himself, uh, bailing out of the pocket, doing what uh, Gerback really can't. Uh, Billy's got good feet and, uh, and, and really allowed the completion. Next play coming up on this drive, and a drive that really put the Huskies out in front by a score of 19 to 7. You'll see the throw to Mark Broner, we had on just a moment ago, and you'll see the throw to him back at the back of the end zone, just a foot inbounds for a touchdown. Great play for a freshman. Oh, it, oh, it is, and he's a, he is one fine freshman tight end. He's as good as I've ever seen come out to blocking and pass catching. Excellent throw, too, to the back of the end zone. One foot in, boom. Mm. Boy, it was close. Mm, that wasn't was it? really close, wasn't it? <laughs> Not sure. Well, the next one's close, too. This you go for two. Why two here? 19 to 7, just to try to get it to 14 points. Right, right, exactly. Throw at the last second to Aaron Pierce. Now, what? what? Foot inbounds? Ooh. Oh, definitely. That one, was, that one wasn't as close as Bruner's. <laughs> no, that was close. Huskies go up 21 to 7. And now let's go to the fourth quarter of the football game because what we want to do is show you a couple of plays. That the Huskies finally putting it away and, and just getting this thing done. Billy Joe rolling back, throwing over the middle. Great catch again. That's the touchdown by Aaron Pierce. Yep. The tight ends just played so well. Uh, great uh, great decathlete in high school, uh, Aaron Pierce. And, uh, and, and you really see his, uh, his athletic ability showcased there. So Mark Brunel comes back in at quarterback. The guy was the MVP of the Rose Bowl a year, year ago. You remember this? Against Iowa, Demario Bailey. I'll tell you, a replay. A replay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. And, yeah. You got a Heisman move in there, Mark, didn't he? <laughs> uh, it's been one of the great challenges is uh, Michigan having such high-profile people. And then we go out and try to, try to match them. And, uh -huh. uh, and you know what a challenge it's been for Mario. Great catch by Mario. And, and you know, he just barely gets the football. You just have to break the plane with the ball in your hand. And Huskies go on to win it by a score of 34 to 14. Before I let you go, this has been some kind of season. Hannah? It really has. Uh, great football team, uh, uh, great athletes, uh, outstanding leadership, and just big, big plays. Okay. Uh, very physical game out here today. Uh, we won all phases of it, kicking game, offense, defense, and we should be number one. And I can't disagree with you either right now. We thank you very much for joining us. Jim Lambright, thank you again. Our congratulations to you and the Washington football team. We invite all of you now to stay tuned for the Sugar Bowl. Huskies defeat Michigan in the Rose Bowl, 34-14. to 14. Good evening.